Right, I'm at the tunnel again. I came here about a year, well, it'll be two years in September. 2017 I came and I, I'd been all over the place. I had like nearly a two week holiday that year. So there's some, there's the little graveyard of the animals. Now I just looked across the lawns, it looked like the place was still empty. Yeah, they've locked up a few places now, they weren't before. People like me coming in, see? Looking. Oh my god, my guts are bad. So I got a bit of stomachache. God, it looks, do you know what, it looks identical to what it was nearly when I came a year and a half ago. Pond looks exactly the same with the, the net thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if people are in there or not. Not <sighs> that is in there. Shut up for a minute once again. This is May 2019. I'm back at Dunham. I was able to go in the church. It's a beautiful day again. Like it was before. Nobody's moved in yet. It's exactly the same as it was with the table there and everything. It's still empty. But somebody looks after the grounds. And keeps them immaculate with beautiful plants. But basically there's nobody here. But it's not fallen to wreck and ruin yet. Somebody pinched the lead off the roof about two years ago. So here we go. Don't forget, it was much higher. One, it caught fire, and uh, put an end to that. I think I must come when people are out having lunch or something. But it is empty inside. It is empty. <coughs> Nothing's changed. But the gardens are maintained. There's a big entrance. <sighs> Looks like they might open it sometimes. That's what, what that was the stables up there, you know. Well, it's good to video it again. I did see two ladies. I don't think they were ghosts. One had two dogs. And the other one was like a grey lady, but she disappeared. Um, I've seen her twice on two occasions. It's good to come back. It is good to come back. I mean, some of this might be rented out now. Might be. Right. Uh, 
This is Dalmain. Dalham, I mean. Not Dalmain. Dalham. Dalmain's in Cumbria. This is Dalham. In Suffolk. You can imagine the horses and carriages coming up here though, can't you? Now it's just history, look. Nobody lives here. Nobody's lived here for two, well, a minimum of two years. I don't know how long it's been empty. It's kept in good condition though. There is something going on, I can hear like a generator. So maybe they maintain the heat in the building to stop it deteriorating. <coughs> yeah, like I said, I don't know how often I'll come back. Probably not that often now, I've seen the restoration work. But there was some damage to St Martin Stuckfell's plaque. There was a bit missing at the bottom. Um, I'll need to look at my old photos to see what that was. I know people live up there, that's the stud farm, I know that. But nobody lives in the main manor house. Maybe it'll become a conference centre or a wedding venue. That's what they do with them and then they don't always survive that. But of course when St Martin Stockville lived here, it was, um, he might have been further in the village and it was a um, Tudory manor. It wouldn't have been based on that style. Over and out for now.